Section 4.7 is the quadratic formula. I can solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula, and I can determine the number of solutions by using the discriminant. Big ideas here. A quadratic equation, uh, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, can be solved by a formula that gives values of x in terms of a, b, and c. The real solutions of a quadratic equation show the zeros of the related quadratic function and the x-intercepts of the graph. Uh, here, we have our quadratic formula, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Uh, here's a link, I'm not going to click it to take to YouTube videos, but if you do uh, quadratic formula, formula song search on YouTube, uh, there's like a Rockfield Christian Choir or something like that that has one. Um, and then there's also, if you just do Pop Goes the Weasel, that comes up as well. Uh, a couple different ways that we can remember that formula. Uh, or you can watch the one from the last video, Quadratic Payphone. Um, if you search that as well, it'll be Mr. Boardman coming up with the quadratic formula by completing the square on the standard form quadratic here x squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So that's where our quadratic formula comes from. Uh, it's solving our uh, quadratic equation in standard form by completing the square. Example one here, we're going to find our solutions using the quadratic formula. Before we can use our quadratic formula, it has to be set equal to zero. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract four to get it set equal to zero. 2x squared minus x minus four equals zero. Here I'm going to pick out my a, b, and c values. a is always my number in front of my x squared, my coefficient there. b is always the coefficient of my x term, which here is negative one. Don't forget to take the sign with it. And c is always going to be my constant here, negative four. Again, our quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, uh, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. All I'm doing is substituting in my values for a, b, and c into my b's, a's, and c's all over 2a. I'm going to do some simplifying here before I try and uh, get to where I need to be. Negative 1 squared is a positive 1. This right here, guys, when you square this, will always give you a positive value. Any number that we know right now squared is going to give us a positive value. Uh, so be careful there. If you type in your calculator without the parentheses, it won't give you positive. So you need the parentheses there. Um, then I'm going to take all of this. So negative 4 times 2 times negative 4 is actually a positive 32. So what's inside my parentheses is a 33. Minus a negative gives me a positive 1, and 2 times 2 is 4. So x equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 33 over 4. Um, here we can uh, get decimal approximations if we wanted to. One of them would be 1 plus the square root of 33 divided by 4. The other one would be 1 minus the square root of 33 divided by 4. Keep in mind, if you're going to type this in your calculator all at once, you're going to need parentheses here, and you'll have to close that one as well, um, depending on what type of calculator you have. Uh, I don't necessarily need those. I'm looking for the exact answer unless we're like applying it to something. Um, but keep in mind, this plus or minus here means we have two different answers there. Same idea here on b. It's already set equal to 0, so that's great. We're going to pick out our a value. Coefficient of x squared, 1. b is my coefficient of my x, 6. And c is my constant, 9. Quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. Again, I'm going to simplify what's underneath my radical first. 6 squared gives me 36 minus 36, which gives me 0. 
So I don't have this square root anymore. I have plus or minus square root of 0, square root of 0 is 0. If we add or subtract 0, it doesn't matter. So all I have here is negative 6 over 2 times 1, 2, and I get just negative 3. So here we just have one solution. Uh, if we factored this, it would be x plus 3 times x plus 3 or x plus 3 squared. So I have two factors. They're just both the same, which means I'll only have one solution. And we'll talk about that a little bit more here later this section. Now, feel free to pause here and give this a try if you'd like. We're going to go ahead and add 4 to get it set equal to 0, because before we can use our quadratic formula, just like when we factor, it has to be set equal to 0. Uh, now I pick out my a value, which is 1, b value, 4, and c value, 4. Quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, the whole thing divided by 2a. So here I get negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared minus 4 times a times c, all over 2a. Again, I'm going to do what's underneath my radical first. 4 squared is 16. Here I have negative 4 times 1 times 4 is negative 16, which gives me 0. So my whole square root goes away. Get negative 4 over 2, which means x equals negative 2. We just have the one solution here. Same idea here on b. It's already in the right format, so I pick out my a, b, and c values there. Don't forget to take the sign with your number. Quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. 4 squared is 16. Negative 4 times 1 times negative 3 is plus 12, which gives me 28 here. So x equals negative 4 plus or minus square root of 28 over 2. I'm going to reduce this a little bit here. So I'm going to take that square root of 28 and break it down. Uh, 2 times 14, which is 2 times 7. So I broke it down into its prime factors. 28 is the same as 2 times 2 times 7. Now, if I split this part off... The square root of 2 times 2 is 4, which is 2. We know the square root of 4 is 2. I still have that square root of 7 there. So the square root of 28 reduces to 2 square roots of 7. Now I can take a 2 out of everything. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 4 divided by 2 is 2 and it gives me negative 2 plus or minus square root of 7. We take it out of each term. Here it's like I factored out a common 2 and then took 2 divided by 2 to get 1. So we always want to reduce our radicals if we can and we're going to talk about that more in section 4.8 as well. Schools Jazz Band and sell CDs as a fundraiser. The total profit P depends on the amount X that the band charges for each CD. The equation P equals negative X squared plus 48X minus 300 models the profit of the fundraiser. What is the least amount in dollars the band can charge for a CD to make a profit of 200? So we want to know what are our solutions here. So I'm going to take my profit, plug it in for P, and solve. We're looking for what's the amount in dollars they can charge. And remember, x is how much the band charges. So we're looking for x. All I did was substitute in my profit for p here. Now we're going to get it set equal to 0 so that we can solve. a is negative 1, b is 48, and c is negative 500. Quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac 
all over 2a. So sometimes it's going to be faster and easier to try and solve these by factoring. Uh, but here it's not necessarily going to be all that great. We're going to multiply to 500 and um, add to 48 is what it's going to be after we factor out that negative 1, uh, which isn't going to be super easy to find. So I'm going to go right to the quadratic formula. Uh, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. a is negative 1, sorry. Negative 1. I'm still going to simplify underneath my radical first. Uh, 48 squared is 2304. Here, the three negatives means it's going to be a negative 2,000. So I get 304. So x equals negative 48 plus or minus the square root of 304 divided by negative 2. So here, uh, because we're talking about amount in dollars, I want to actually calculate these. So I'm going to have negative 48 plus the square root of 304 divided by negative 2, oops, and I'm going to have negative 48 minus the square root of 304 divided by negative 2. Uh, my two solutions here, this one's going to be about 15.28, uh, and this one's going to be about uh, 32.72. Keep in mind uh, that I rounded this down, it was 282. So we want to know the least amount they can charge to have a profit of 200. Well, this is more, so it's not going to be that one. And if I only charge uh, 1528, that's not going to quite get me to 200. So I got to round that up, even though uh, 2 normally rounds down, we're going to round it up here to the next amount because that's what's going to give us at least 200. So if we only do 1528, that's going to get us just a little bit below where we need to be because uh, we round down. So our price here is 1529 uh, per CD is the least amount they can charge in order to still make a profit of $200. Now if you're free to pause here and give this a try if you'd like, we want to know the least amount the band could charge for a CD in order to make a $100 profit. So we're going to go back up here to our equation, and instead of plugging in 200, we're going to plug in 100. So I'm going to subtract 100 to get my equation set equal to 0. A is negative 1. B is going to be 48. And C is going to be negative 400. Quadratic formula is negative B plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Again, 48 squared is 2304. Three negatives are going to make this a negative 1600. Uh, so x is going to be negative 48 plus or minus the square root of 704 divided by negative 2. To get my two approximations here, I have negative 48 plus the square root of 704 divided by negative 2, which is approximately 1074. When I round that up, it's 0.733, but remember we have to round up to 74 because I want to know at least how much. And when I do negative 48 minus the square root of 704 divided by negative 2, uh, here I'm going to get 37.26. So we want to know the least amount in dollars the band can charge, 1074, in order to have $100 worth of profits here, which is what we're looking for here, $100 worth of profits. Um, so again, we plug in our profit amount, set it equal to zero, solve using our quadratic formula. And because we're talking about our amount in dollars, we want our approximate values here. And I will stop here and finish in another video.